In this Debaco University video, we're going to be going over hermaphroditic cannabis plants and what to look for on how to visually identify them as being producing both a combination of male and female flowers. As we can see in the image here, we see some definite some female structures, but we also can see some male structures on this same plant mixed within the same flowers. This is what we call a hermaphroditic plant, sometimes often called Hermes in the cannabis world. So visually recognizing a hermaphroditic plant is important uh, because they contain both male and female um, sex organs. It's not very common, at least in general. Some strains have a greater odds of producing hermaphroditic plants, but also plants under stress may also increase the odds of producing this combination of male and female flowers. These hermaphroditic plants can sometimes self-pollinate since both pollen and ovaries will be produced on the same plant, assuming they open uh, in, in, at the same time to allow the pollen to be received by the female plant. Now, herming out due to stress is sometimes what some growers will say, and this is, uh, can be an example of when there's heavy plant damage. This can be plant damage that is accidental, or it could be induced by heavy pruning. There's also environmental stresses, such as water stress, salt stress in the root zone, or simply the plant becoming root-bound in its growing container. Then there's also nutrient deficiencies, which can also induce a stress on the plant that could increase the odds of producing both male and female plants, uh, flowers in the same plant. We want to monitor our plants. So when plants are exposed to known stresses, this should be an indicator for growers to do an extra scout for flower identification. Indoor stress examples, I said making sure the temperature doesn't get too high, uh, watching our light intensities. For outdoor applications, this would be physical damage to a plant that could be grower induced, but it could also be wind damage, it could be physical damage due to wind breaking branches or something like that. Know the genetics of some strains that tend to have more hermaphroditic tendencies and should be removed once identified to avoid the chance of causing that pollination to occur. Lastly, what are you actually looking for? Well, you want to look at both the buds and pollen sacs, the same plant, sometimes within the same flower cluster. We can see that right here. We see a definite strong um, female plant identification, but we also see that pollen sac also developing here within that plant. This is an example of hermaphroditic flower. So hopefully this allows you to kind of get a developing understanding of just what a hermaphroditic plant is and what to visually look for within your own plants.